So here's a little tip on how to really quickly make these chunky buttons using a bit of CSS. So to begin with, we just have a button in the HTML and a button selector in the CSS, which already has a font family assigned to it. So first we need to add padding to give it some space, then set whatever background color you want to use. Normally I use a lighter color. Then we strip out all the default borders and apply just a border to the bottom, which is quite thick, five pixels. And for the color, just use something a little bit darker than the background color. So this border gives it that depth. For the left border, use the same colour as the border bottom, but just make it one pixel in size. This almost mimics a side shadow for the button. For the text colour, it's your choice. I make it something similar to the borders, but darker again. Finally, we give it a cursor pointer and a position of relative. The reason we position it relative is so we can move it downwards when we click on the button. So next, we need an active state for the button, which is when it gets clicked. And when that happens, we want to make it look like the button is being pressed into the page. So we make the bottom border just two pixels this time, which is three pixels less than before. But if we leave it like that, the button will look like it's shifting up those three pixels because the border comes off at the bottom. So to combat that, we set the top to three pixels to move it down three pixels as well. That's why we used position relative before. And now in a browser, we can see that chunky button. And when we click on it, we get that effect of it being pressed down into the page. Awesome.